Hi everyone, it's Liam with Lovely Scrappin' and I'm here with another design team project for I Am Roses. Um, so for this, I really wanted to do a wall hanger um, type of idea with some jumbo tags. Now, I can't quite fit it all in screen right now, but hopefully in the pictures that I just posted, you um, can get an idea of what it looks like uh, when it's sort of hanging on the wall. Um, I will post a link um, in, the, in the description bar of this video to my blog and that'll um, have all of the I Am Roses products used um, in this project on there with a direct link to the I Am Roses store. So you guys go to my blog, check it out and you'll be able to find these amazing flowers that I've used and the leaves as well that I've used um, on the I Am Roses website. So um, to get started uh, I used the Prima Almanac paper and here it is here. Um, I use 6x6 six six as well as the A4 and this is um, still my all-time favorite you guys. Um, nothing has beat it yet. Um, the romance novel came close but I am a big fan of these colors and um, the fact that it has damask in there too um, especially with a black and white one right there just totally does it for me. So anyway <laughs> I absolutely love this this paper collection so I really wanted to use it on a project that I'm going to keep and um, these photos here that I've taken of my daughter, um, we went a few weekends ago um, to a beautiful park area with our dog and we just, you know, it's fall and cold and it was just, the colors are beautiful. It was just a beautiful day. It was gorgeous and sunny out. And so I titled this Special Moments and then this one here says With You. And um, in the pictures, I'll just describe the pictures first. Um, this one here is of her, um, you know, in a big pile. We were underneath this huge maple tree and there's just leaves everywhere, just beautiful orange and brown tones and yellows. And um, anyway, she just loves leaves and so she's getting ready to, well, she's actually playing with my husband as I'm, you know, behind my camera and um, she, you know, is about to pick up the, the leaves in this picture. In this picture she's got the big bundle of leaves in her um, arms and then in this one she's throwing them up in the air. I had to crop these pictures quite a bit um, so you can't quite get the full view of, of the scenery behind her but anyways, um, we remember what it looks like and it's just absolutely so memorable and I really wanted to showcase it in this project. So, um, so that's what I've done there. Uh, the tags that I used are these huge tags I got from my local scrapbook store and they measure eight and a half inches by about four and one eighth of an inch going this way and they're just huge and I love them so much I wish that they continue to carry them but they don't but they do carry um, those you know the Ranger brand um, big tags they're just those huge tags they have them even bigger I think than this but they have various sizes and they come in like black craft as well as manila so I decided to use three tags and then basically what I've done with all three was I um, put a layer of burlap over top of it on both sides, sealed it with Mod Podge, like I put Mod Podge down first, put the burlap down and then sealed it with Mod Podge again to, um, and it was a Mod Podge mat. And um, and then that way, and I kind of tried to avoid the edges because I knew I was going to be sewing and I knew I was going to be fraying it so I didn't want it to be too stiff on the edges. But after that was all dry, then I went through with my sewing machine and you can see I kind of went around twice and I did it very messy, you know, so it would be kind of like a squiggly look and it weaving in and out of each other. And then some areas I did like the zigzag. So I had lots of fun with that and I just used black thread so it would really pop out. And then I went and I sprayed in certain areas that I wanted to be highlighted with certain colors and I used three main sprays from Lindy Stamp Gang. I used the Cape Cod Coral and they're all starburst sprays. <clears throat> I use the, um, oh sorry, this is the Clam Bake Beige and this is the Cape Cod Coral. Love it, beautiful peachy color, goes really good with the paper collection. And then I wanted some sort of a coppery metallic color because I have used um, a combination of silver and copper metals throughout this. So I wanted to add a little bit of a copper brown sort of a, a tone to it. So I sprayed that in certain areas, let that dry, highlighted certain areas with gesso. I actually went pretty much in all the areas where there's a photo, I went in that area with, um, I think it's called Art Is, um, oh it's in the wrong package, but this is the Art Is um, definition, sort of a script stencil from the Crafters Workshop. And I did that and I used text white texture paste and I did it and I ended up getting mostly covered. There are a few spots that, um, that do show, but 
if I had done it differently, thinking about it, I probably would have done it more on this side, but then I ended up liking the, <clears throat> the way that the chicken wire looks. So anyways, it all happens for a reason. <clears throat> I just sort of went with the flow. And then after that was dry, I did um, highlight some areas. I actually sprayed it with the Black Orchid Silver Lindy Stamp Gang, but it didn't show up enough, and I wanted more black. So I went over um, using this, um, again, the Crafter Workshop, the Chicken Wire one, um, in the, um, this side and a little bit on this side with black acrylic paint. And then after that was done to tone down some of the black paint, I again went over it with uh, my sponge brush and gesso. And then I started doing all my layering. So I'm going to kind of try and come in close and do each take at a time. So start with Ooh. okay. And you guys, I used like 12 Tim Holtz swivel clasps <laughs> throughout this project, and um, I'll show you them in a second here. So. At the top here, I used the smaller swivel clasps. So it, when you get a pack of the Tim Holtz one, they come in a large one and a small one. So up here is the small one. This is a silver one, and this is copper. So each um, swivel clasp that I use, I alternated silver, copper, and then here would be copper, silver, you know, and so forth. So I used small ones, and then I had this huge black metal chain I wanted to use as the hanger. So I put that up there. I added some. Um, seam binding, black seam binding that I crinkled, and some of this fabulous stretchy lace that I won from um, A Thing for Bling. And so I added that there as well as I had those two here as well on each tag. So where the where the hole of the tag is, I put them there. And I put a big eyelet. Um, it's sort of a brown color. This one got covered up, but you'll... Well, the other ones might be covered up too with gesso, but um, they were dark brown um, eyelets that I popped in there as well. Um... I also wanted to really, I was so excited when we got these, um, the maple leaves from Iron Roses in our design team package, and they come in a variety of colors, and because this, you know, they were all maple leaves, and, you know, it also sort of symbolizes my country, um, you know, our flag and all, so anyways, I really wanted to add the maple leaves in here, I love them, love them, so I used like the darker kind of a brown, and then the sepia kind of a tone ones, and I used those two colors and sort of put them on every tag, you know, I tried to do similarities in the tag in each of the tags so that there'd be like a cluster on the top and the bottom like a bigger one on the bottom smaller one at the top and so forth and then lay down all my embellishments um, I forgot to mention I also had a lot of inspiration from Finnabar she's Anna Dabrowska um, one of the designers from Poland for um, Prima she's amazing and I get a lot of my inspiration from her so um, just to let you know ahead of time <laughs> sometimes I forget to, to give the shout out at the beginning of my spiel um, so anyways going into this um, put my photo down on top of chipboard so that it would be lifted slightly and then that makes it if you keep like I don't know a couple maybe a half a centimeter um, along the entire photo free um, you know so the rest is all chipboard and I laid it down with glossy accent on the chipboard and then um, I used hot glue to uh, to adhere the chipboard to the tag and then it also leaves some space that you can tuck in your embellishments afterwards so I did that did a lot of fussy cutting from the paper collection again A4 and the 6x6 I used um, I love this little stamp I cut out it's got a 12 on it and it says in tiny letters fly up there um, cause 12, of course, 2012 is the year that this was all, um, this all occurred in. I love the piano keys, love them, love them. And I've got the, um, the black sort of fibers, sort of like cheesecloth type fibers, um, sort of coming through. I kind of laid a, a piece up here and I just kind of had it sort of draping downward this way. And I just layered everything on top of it and I did that to each tag as well. Um, and then, yeah, so I love this one, and I'm going to come in a bit closer, you guys, this is so funny. So, some of you who know me and my daughter, um, yeah, she, she wakes up bright and early, like 4 o'clock in the morning, almost every morning, plus she wakes up a few times in the night, crawls into bed with us. Yeah, anyway, I'm not going to get into it, but we are having some serious sleeping issues, so I thought this would be so much fun to add in there as a little thing to look back on in terms of her sleeping. Um, and I can you know, make her feel bad about it. No, she's joking. <laughs> okay, anyway. So um, up here is a rolled book page um, rose that I made. I added a flower to, or a, a, a sorry, a flat back pearl to it. This is um, an R21. I'll show them here. Beautiful white, kind of white, off-white kind of a color. So one of my favorites. Well, all of these are my favorite. I just, you know, you can't have a favorite really with iron roses. There's so many amazing ones. Um, added a lot of gears and fun embellishments, you know, Tim Holtz spinner. Um, this is just an old um, 
light bulb I found at the thrift store and added a lot of gesso to all of these elements after they were um, down and sprayed. Um, here is a little wooden clothes pin and um, I tried to put this on each tag. Well, I did put one of these on each tag. I tried to do like this on each tag, this on each tag, you know, and kind of keep some similarities happening. Um, here is special. Again, I cut out from a border strip from the paper and this is another piece from the paper I cut out. And um, yeah, so I cut this clock in half, put one here, one here, some more piano there. Lots of paper I did, lots of layering, um, a copper color key there, another gear, lots of fun buttons. Here's a little bead here that says Miracle underneath there. This is a Tim Holtz pen nib that says Journey, and I love this ruler piece from the collection I cut out and distressed. All of the paper, the edges were distressed with the Tim Holtz distressor. Um, so this flower here... Um, is the R77-15 beautiful flowers and I took off two layers off the bottom to make it a smaller flower um, and so I put that there and then these two flowers here are from the R6-827 pack and they whoops um, they are a dark brown two-tone one and there's a variety of different colors in here as you can see so I used two of those ones here and more gears as you can see there um, let's see this is a Tim Holtz keyhole right there and I don't know I always seem to miss something but anyways uh, <laughs> if you have any questions let me know um, so here as you can see so I'm gonna back up just a, just a smidgen so um, as you can see the way I've joined each of them I put eyelets and um, pretty much the top and the bottom of each one and then of course another eyelet where the hole is of that natural tag um, and so here I've took off the chain on one of the swivel clasps and then with the other swivel clasp we just shortened it a little bit so there's like four links to each one and again so this one's copper this one's silver and um, so there's you know that's how it joins through there and moving this up so with this tag here <clears throat> um, same type of idea in terms of the base what I've done and then I just went to town doing all of my fun embellishments and so I um, had got lots of paper layering you know of papers embellishments buttons domino this um, gorgeous flower here is one of the gardenias and they are the GB3-153 and I took off two layers because there are four layers um, and I took off the bottom two just so it wasn't too high. I kind of wanted it a little bit less dimensional. These beautiful little rose buds are from one of the newer ones I got in my last design team package, the T30-210. And they're peach color. Um, they're not in here because there was only three in this pack and I've used them. But these are the other colors that come in the package. And I'm going to come in a bit closer, you guys. So, uh, let's see, more ruler pieces I cut out from the paper, again the buttons and the gears, I've tried to keep that sort of a common theme in the paper clips as well throughout the project. This is one of the chipboard tags, um, or tickets, and it's got a typewriter on there, Tim Holtz gear. This flower here is one of the R40s in the kind of a white, and I um, took off one layer off the bottom. And um, again, oh sorry, I forgot to mention the other one, but I'll mention here in a second with the spring that I've done with each tag. I did the same type of technique. Um, this is um, one of the gardenias. And they are G2-157. Love these. They're like a two-tone brown. And so I put that there. Another one of my rolled book page flowers button. This really fun sort of, sort of a coiled... Um, spiral metal piece was given to me from Sabine and she's um, from France and she gave me a wonderful rack Joanne and I so thank you so much Sabine I'm so glad I got to use this I've been kind of hoarding it because I love it so much but I've used it on a very special project um, and then more paper layering more of the uh, gears from bead landing this I fussy cut from the paper it says um, my tiny little princess 100% pure <laughs> I love it um, so I put that there. Oh, and this fun piece here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's actually from an old clock that I took apart. It's a 
I thought there'd be more metal pieces, but most of it's plastic. I guess that's can't be too old, I guess, of a clock if it's plastic now that they're using. But anyway, I use that. And then um, a button here and more of the maple leaves I mentioned previously all throughout here as well. And then I love the little bird's nest, so I had that poking out and some more paper. So what I've done in terms of the spraying, again, I started with that um, clam bake beige and I went in focused it in certain areas and then I went with my Cape Cod Coral and put it in some areas and then I finally went with the darkest one, the um, Cocoa Bean Copper and sprayed it in particular areas making sure I covered up my photo so that you know her face wasn't colored or anything and um, and that's how I sort of got the colors of because when you first put down the flowers they're white and instead of you know pre-spraying them ahead of time um, and this is how this is the idea I got from um, Anna Dabrowska is she puts them down and sprays her work afterwards so that it sort of everything blends together. It looks so cool. So anyways, I really love doing that. And then after the spraying, I touched, you know, certain things with the gesso, highlighting it and bringing out some of that white again, because when you spray it, it tones down all the white. Um, so I wanted to bring out the white again. So I went over a lot of pieces with the, um, with the gesso. And then more of the large swivel clasps. This, the copper, this is a silver. And I, again, I shorten them so that it would all be the same length. And let me just bring this one up here. So again, I try to stick with the common type of theme. Um, I'll come in a bit closer to you guys so you can see. So here's another one of the R21s I used. Um, this is similar to the, um, the darker roses I, I showed in here, but they're the sort of a, a lighter brown, sort of sepia color. And then here's a little glass file and I took um, the ruler piece that I fussy cut from the collection and I just rolled it all up with my tweezers and then let some of it go and then I just shoved it into the bottle so it's sort of really cool and loopy looking. And then I, I left um, part of it coming out of the cork when I popped the cork down and I just glossy accented the cork down and then I've got part of the ruler kind of coming out there. And um, for this, I used E6000 to um, pop it down onto the page so it would hold really nicely. And then I've got lots of the fibers coming out again, the maple leaves I mentioned. This is one of the uh, little cutouts. I think it's the chicken one. Little, I punched out with my circle puncher. And my battery's going to die, so I'm going to try and hurry. Sorry, you guys. Um, here is a gear and then more paper clips. This is a chipboard clock I cut in half gears. I love this. The 6x6 pad, unfortunately, um, it comes so part of the memories is cut off, which is unfortunate, but um, anyways, that says memories I cherish with you. And so I, I put that down, distressed it again, distressed all my papers with the Tim Holtz distressor. Here's one of those little trinket pins. I think this one said findings on it, but it got covered with gesso. Um, maple leaves buttons, more cutouts. This fun, fun piece of metal is from Tina. She sent in a rack. Thank you so much, Tina. She loves, I love metal. So I had fun incorporating um, that into here. More um, layers of paper. This is a bead landing clock piece. Some more buttons and a copper button here. Flower I made. Um, more buttons and gears. And then this flower here is one of the GB-153. It comes on. I don't think I took any layers off of that one. I think I kept all of them. Or maybe I did. Is that one of the... Yeah, I think I may have taken that because I'm noticing it right there. So I think I may have taken that apart. And again, another paper clothespin. And um, yeah. Oh, and right here is just a really fun sort of a rippled type of a metal piece I found in the thrift store. A little baggie of them. So I thought they'd be fun to incorporate into projects. And then there's the with you, and then this is a Tim Holtz key. It says love, and I used E6000 to adhere that down. All of the, and this is E6000. All of the paper flowers and papers I use hot glue. Any metals, buttons, like um, non-porous things, I used um, a lot of glossy accent, except for the, like the heavier items. I use E6000. I get a lot of questions about that. And now for the charms. Let's see if I can move this up a little bit. I had lots of fun. Um, putting down the charms. Oh, there's a little bit of a shadow here. Let's see if I can try and lighten that a bit. It's not going to lighten, but oh, there we go. So anyways, I used, again, the smaller swivel class for these, and this is the silver and then the copper. And then I just pulled out a bunch of charms and fun little things to add onto jump rings and use as, um, you know, little trinkets to dangle from here. So this one here is Cherish. That's from the Almanac 
Prima trinket set, Tim Holtz trinket pin, Tim Holtz word stick that says love. This is from the almanac. I think they're the, the, the wood tags and it says time flies. Added some seam binding to that. Tim Holtz metal heart, bead landing gear. Um, this is a, this and this black key I got from Joanne. She gave those to me. Thank you so much, Joanne. So I added the bird there, a button here. I just put on a jump ring, just loop through a, a clothes or a paper clip and then added a small gear to the bottom of that and then this I just punched out from the paper and added it to one of the fragment charms from Tim Holtz with glossy accent and then touched a lot of it with gesso, sponged it with the sponge brush afterwards I think that was pretty much everything in that one and a lot of the chain is leftover chain from all of the swivel clasps that I used previously and going on to this one just a little metal arrow, black arrow I had, it's actually a brad but I took out the brad piece and I just put a jump ring through there. Bead landing little copper metal ruler, another little button and this is another thing I just took cut out one of the letters from the A4 K for my daughter's name, um, put it down on the paper and then I um, glued that onto the fragment charm, put November 10th so I remember the date of the when this took place and then Again, this is the metal key from Joanne. I just added some of that lace that I used throughout this project on there. Um, this is one of those little, I don't know what you call them, sort of a charm connector piece from Tim Holtz. Um, and then I added on that another gear, paper clip, some more chain, and then one of these wood pieces from the Prima um, embellishment pack. This is a Tim Holtz bird, and this is a, like a, one of those bobbin things. Um, is that pretty much it? I think that's pretty much it, you guys. So I had fun, and it looks really cool when it's dangling, and it's just all, it just brings a lot of interest to the entire project. So anyways, you guys, that is my project. I hope you like it. It took a while because I had to do it, like, little pieces here and there, but um, I had lots and lots of fun, and I know my daughter will appreciate it when she's older. She already likes to look at it right now. She finds it really interesting. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to check out my blog for all of the, the direct links to these I Am Roses products used. And yeah, check out IamRoses.com, you guys. Fabulous, fabulous products. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye now.